Hi everybody, I'm Jack and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. A uh, different setting here, as you can see it, I made it safely to Alabama. I got in late last night, it was a long travel day. Um, you know, I'd been in San Jose a couple of days before I came down here and I'd kind of just fooled around over the weekend, kind of slowly getting ready for my trip. And I've been doing something different lately, not just the past few days, but I've been doing this for a couple of weeks now with YouTube. I told you guys, I don't watch a lot of people on YouTube anymore, but I like to keep my, uh, you know, I like to know what's going on, the big picture, keeping my fingers on the pulse. So what I've been doing lately is I've been watching lots of little snippets of videos. I'll go in and search various terms like raw vegan lifestyle, high carb vegan lifestyle, um, specific subjects under there, just different, I mean, I, I'm not going to list all the examples, but I just come up with as many different combinations, and I watch little snippets, sometimes it's 30 seconds, sometimes it's two minutes, sometimes it's five minutes, but I keep them short, and you know what, there is like, there's books out there on how to be a raw vegan, there's tons of programs out there on how to be a raw vegan, there's websites out there on how to be a raw vegan, there's coaches, Jesus, Mary and Joseph, there's more coaches out there than I can, uh, you know, shake a stick at, and just all of a sudden it was like, boom, it hit me, I'm like, I started laughing at myself, kind of doing this weird little Eddie Murphy laugh that he did in a movie years ago that always sticks in my head. <laughs> And just kind of shaking my head thinking, what are we really talking about here? We are talking about eating fruits and vegetables. We've devoted a whole niche of health to <laughs> raw veganism, veganism, when it's basically, you take these two things here, you take a fruit, you take some vegetables, you take this and you eat it. Um, we've made it so convoluted and it's like it's like some sort of secret initiation to get in and it's a hard thing to do when to be quite honest it's the easiest damn thing I've ever done in my life it's the easiest lifestyle I've ever done in my life it's the easiest way I've ever found to be uh, healthy in my life so let's boil it down let's make it simple what is raw veganism really look you're a sad eater right now if you're watching for the first time and you're not a raw vegan and you're sad means standard American diet eating the same old crap that everybody's eating uh, you're foggy that you know people are foggy in the brain they're they're not living well we see all the health problems out there today but okay you're living on the sad lifestyle boom you're gonna go to being raw vegan you start eating more fruit, you start eating more vegetables, you cut out the animal products, you cut them out bit by bit. You want to transition, you want to transition sensibly, but don't make that an excuse. I'm going to be quite honest with you, you know, um, from networking on Facebook, watching, always seeing, always reading, there's a lot of people out there just throwing excuses out, you know. I even talk to people sometimes that are telling me the same old, same things. They may not think the old crazy man remembers. They're telling me the same things they were six, eight months ago when they could have almost started from sad and gone all the way through. But they didn't just do it. They got tripped up, they got into plans, they got into doing this person's way of doing it, and they got all convoluted. They started listening to, you know, all this science and this and that, and the science is good. I'm not trying to knock that. I do like to know the explanation behind it. But in the end, the, the simplest solution to any problem is a straight line from point A to point B. Eat more fruits. Eliminate the animal products. Eat plenty of food. That's where people make a lot of uh, mistakes. Eat plenty of food. Don't limit yourself. Don't believe what you've been told. You've been lied to your whole life. You've been told that carbs and sugar are bad. And it's actually the opposite. Carbs and sugar are your friends. Sugar fuels the cells of the body. I'm talking about good sugar. Fru sugar from fruit, not, not table sugar, not the processed sugar. But you get what I'm saying. The carbs are good. Um, you know, it's not... I th we make more of this thing because food is this weird thing. I never realized until I came to this lifestyle, I had never realized how convoluted food was, you know. Um, the addictions and this and that. And all I know is like there is nothing that compels my hands to reach down and pick up things I don't want to do. So, you know, don't get tripped up like this is a, a difficult thing. Eating fruits and vegetables. I'm going to keep coming back to that. Eating fruits and vegetables. That's what it is. I mean, how hard is that? I mean, even for me, it's not rocket science. You know, you eat fruits and vegetables. So, to ballpark it, and this is going to be a real quick video because it's so simple. If I made this a long video, then that would kind of defeat the point. Cut out the animal products. Start eating more fruits and vegetables. Eat more and more fruit. Incorporate more and more fruits and vegetables into your diet every day. 
have a, okay, and I'll put these together, transition and plan. You're wanting to transition in a simple way, and you need to make a plan to do that, how you're going to proceed down the road. If you have to be very detailed in your head, be very detailed in your head. Okay, this week I'm going to cruise through like that. Next week I'm going to adjust, maybe cut this out, add this in. Have a plan. Move through your transition. Don't get stuck in the transition. Right there, and that's the, I'm going to have to make some notes. That's another video in itself. Stuck in the transition. So many people are stuck in the transition. Work your way through your transition. Leave the stuff behind. The more you keep putting the bad stuff into your body, it's like smoking a cigarette after you've quit. It's like shooting a little H after you've quit that. It just stirs it back up, and you want it again, so move down the line. Drink plenty of water while you're doing this. Get, get exercise. Get plenty of rest. Eat more and more fruits and vegetables every day. Not rocket science, people. Not rocket science. Sometimes people, I mean, I guess I could tell stories. I'm a good storyteller. That um, I get a lot of people, uh, you should write a book. I don't know what the hell I'm going to write a book on. It would be a pamphlet. It would be a leaflet. Because basically what I just shared right there is raw veganism in a nutshell. Don't make it any more complicated than it has to be. Anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed this first little video from Alabama. There will be many more. Um, if you like it, give me a thumbs up. Hope you'll subscribe to the channel and share this one because uh, people need to know that this isn't an intimidating lifestyle. It's not that big a uh, thing. So don't let people sell you on this being complicated. One last little thing, because I think sometimes people don't quite get that, that all these, even like these people that are well-meaning sometimes with all the programs and the approaches and, you know, the systems, um, that just, that makes people think that it's a much more complicated lifestyle than it isn't. And it's the simplest lifestyle in the world. Peace out.